So, Battlefield has a new shotgun in town. How's it gonna hold up against the rest of them? Ooh, I actually don't know. <laughs> I hope you didn't come here to find that out because I don't have an answer for you. I'm a little bit torn on the weapon myself. I can't really decide if I like it or not. But, we'll see what happens. Maybe it grows on me and I'll explain a little bit about it. But obviously in the next couple weeks you're gonna see a full analysis breakdown review with nice fancy graphics and everything coming to you. So you guys subscribe if you're new here. But for kind of a first impression of the weapon, it's decent, right? It's not blowing any minds or dropping any panties. It's just okay. So what they did with this weapon is they gave it a really respectable rate of fire, but anytime you amp up the rate of fire on a weapon, you generally have to decline the power of the weapon, so drop the damage a little bit. And that's exactly what they do. This gun sits in a weird area between the 12G Auto and the M97 Trench. But you gotta think, with the trench being so dominant, so good, and it already has a pretty respectable rate of fire, why would you really need a gun in this area? And if anybody has ever used the 12G Auto, you know that the gun is really good, but people are not going to do this, and this gets behind the mentality of using shotguns in video games. And the reason people use shotguns, drumroll please, it's because it's easy. It's completely easy. You don't even generally need to aim down sight. That's saving a lot of time. You just fire from the hip and you kill things, and with the trigger pull, you put people in the ground. That's what people like, the comfort, the casual effect of a shotgun, just because they're so easy to use and they're so damn powerful. So, for that reason is why you see the Model 10 Hunter. Even though the 12G Auto is a great gun, people want the thing that's gonna give them the most satisfaction, the easiest kill, and do it in the easiest fashion. And that is going to be a shotgun that can kill in one shot. So this gun is capable of killing in one shot. It's just not going to be as consistent as the Model 10 or the M97. And for that reason, I highly doubt this gun is going to be used beyond just the fun factor or maybe just switching it up. It's not going to keep up with those in competition. So likelihood the meta is going to continue to be at the top. I'd say about even the M97 and the Model 10. Then it would be this weapon and then finally the 12G Auto. And it's, it's a decent gun, like I said, statistically. The one major difference, just to put this in a comparison for you guys, is the M97 has the same damage output per pellet that this gun does. In the buckshot, they hit for 8.4 up to, it's like 12 or 14 meters. So, the change here is this gun has two less pellets in the actual buckshot. Now you gotta think to yourself, is that even a big deal, two less pellets? Hell yeah it is. That's 17 potential damage you can put into a target. That's 17 damage the M97 has that this gun doesn't have. And to put into sort of a relation for you, you reduce two more, and that's where the 12G Auto is. And anyone that's used the 12G Auto knows that that thing just does not one-shot kill. It doesn't happen. So this gun sits with 13 right in between the trench. Or the trench coming in with 15 pellets, this one has 13, the 12G Auto has 11. So to take a gun with only 11 pellets, and it pretty much does not one-shot, throwing in two more gives you a little bit better chance and actually puts it in the realm of one-shotting but it's still not consistent enough for you to actually like the weapon. Now, I've gone on tears where I've taken all five shots and killed five dudes in 100% damage, and all the pellets landed in the way that I needed to, but it's not that consistent, and what they try to do is make up for it with a generous rate of fire, and they do. It's definitely one of those guns that you can spray and double tap and secure that kill either way. I mean, it's more forgiving in that fashion, but when you're using a shotgun, you're gonna wanna make sure you take that first shot and you make that first shot count. And that's why the M97 and the Model 10 are a better option in this regard. I'm going to use the gun that's going to make sure the people are killed easiest in, in the first time. I don't want to follow up with the second shot. And this is the whole mentality behind why nobody wants to use the 12G Auto. It's a great gun. It works very well. But nobody wants to take two shots. So to put it into perspective, each pellet inside this gun, which there's 13 total, hits for 8.4. You need 12 of the 13 to hit to secure a kill, compared to the M97s that needs only 12 of 15. So it's a bit easier for you to miss a couple pellets and still secure the kill. It's more forgiving, and that's why you're gonna deal with more one-shot kills. Not to mention the M97 has about two extra meters on top where it can one-shot. After 14 meters up until about 17 meters, this thing hits for 7.2 per pellet, which means that even if you hit all 13 pellets between the 14 and 16 meter range, to the body, it's still not enough to kill a full health target. The M97 does not have this problem because the extra two pellets still keep it within the one-shot kill threshold. So it also has a couple extra meters in terms of damage dealing for a chance of a one-shot kill. So with that all together, it 
as I said before, simply comes down to how consistently can you shoot and kill a target with only one trigger pull. And the M97 does a better job and can do a better job at range as well. And for this reason alone, it's going to basically outclass this gun. And that's why I don't think you're going to see a lot of it. It's still a good gun because a shotgun's a shotgun. But it's not the best thing that you could be using and because of that, you're probably not going to see a lot of it. So anyways guys, thanks for tuning in. If you want to know how to unlock this thing, you got to be rank 3, you got to get 50 kills with the Model 10 Slug and get a 15 kill streak in one game with the M97 Trench. You know, the better gun. Yeah. Have a good night guys, I'll see you tomorrow.